In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stop a Vercel deployment. Whether you're making some last minute changes, noticed a mistake, or simply want to manage your resources more efficiently, sometimes you have to halt a deployment in its tracks. Let's walk through the process step by step so you can stop a Vercel deployment confidently and quickly. First, you'll want to navigate to your Vercel dashboard. This is your main hub on Vercel, where you can see all your projects and deployments. Once you're logged in, take a moment to familiarize yourself with the layout if you're new to it. Look for the list of projects you have already created. It's essential to have a sense of where things are, especially if you manage multiple projects, to ensure you select the correct one. Next, you need to select the specific project where the deployment is happening. Click on the project name to enter its dedicated space within the dashboard. This area gives you access to project-specific settings and information about its deployments. Now that you're in the correct spot, you need to find the Deployments tab. Locate this tab in the Project Navigation menu. It's often placed alongside other key sections like Settings and Integrations, but it stands out because it's your gateway to tracking the deployment history and status. Once you're in the Deployments tab, the next task is to locate the deployment that's currently in progress. Deployments are typically listed in chronological order, showing the most recent activity at the top. You might find it helpful to review the timestamps if you have multiple deployments happening simultaneously, or if you're unsure which one needs attention. Get comfortable with this interface, since it's crucial for managing your project's deployment lifecycle. After identifying the ongoing deployment, look for the ellipsis icon, which appears as three dots, located next to the deployment entry. This icon is a handy feature in many digital platforms, generally indicating additional options or actions that you can perform for a particular item. Clicking on the ellipsis reveals a drop-down menu with options tailored to managing the deployment you're working on. From this drop-down, you'll want to select Cancel. This direct action will effectively stop the deployment in progress. While it's fairly straightforward, take a second to confirm that you're stopping the correct deployment, especially in a busy environment where several operations might be running simultaneously. Accidental cancellation could interrupt workflows, so a quick verification step is a wise practice. And that's it. You've successfully stopped a Vercel deployment. This process is crucial for efficient project management helping you correct errors or reroute resources effectively before a deployment concludes. Remember, managing deployments proficiently ensures your project runs smoothly and can adapt swiftly to any required updates or changes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.